So last time, guys, I was visibly distraught, naturally so, rightfully so, after being told that something I expected to be about two or three grand for work um, and labor was going to be nine grand in labor and mostly labor. And I decided that was bogus. I'm not going to do that. So I changed the plan. We got back from vacation last night. We made some decisions. I have counseled with several people, including the YouTube comments. Thank you for your help. If that was you in the previous video, but we've made some changes to our plan. that's going to make things a lot quicker and cheaper. So let's talk about it. So the number one thing is the wood. Okay. So we were going to actually preserve this wood with tongue oil or some sort of natural preservative. Um, we're not going to do that now, A, because we're going to paint the wood here in the bathroom. I know it's kind of sad, but it's a, it's a very narrow room. If you look, let me get to where, yeah, you can see that. So this is only, the room's only five feet wide, but it's 15 feet deep. So it's very, it's kind of a narrow. And then once we have the, uh, the cabinets, like we have, we're going to have one cabinet up top here. So it's just going to kind of bring it, bring the room in. So we think painting it will actually make it look bigger and and it'll also waterproof it for the shower, which we do have a shower vent right there, so it should be fine, but that's the plan for the, the wood in here. But every every other bit of wood, all of it in this room in here, is just gonna be left all natural, which I love, I love it. You know, if you look at this, you hear it. I love that texture and smell. If you preserve it, it gets all, it gets, that was, I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was my Bluetooth speaker disconnecting. Uh, anyway, so this wood is um, nice and rough and smells amazing. And if you preserve it, it gets harder and shiny and I just don't like it. But it, you don't need to do it. You don't need to do it. I'm not going to do it. Um, if we decide one day we want to do something with it, we might. But before moving in, we're not going to do anything. This is going to stay all natural because this is not a wet area. And that's totally fine. So that, that covers the wood. Um, the other major change is the sheetrock. So we are not professional tape and floaters. Every time I've done it, there has been some major flaws that made us both unhappy. Me and my wife is what I'm talking about. So what we're gonna do instead is we're going to, instead of trying to tape this and float it perfect and then spray texture, and I'm really bad with a spray gun, we are going to get a trowel with a bunch of this joint compound slash mud, and we're going to slap it on the wall. And we're gonna make this fun, messed up design. Of course, it won't be too bad, it won't be too chunky. It'll be, it'll be classy, you know? Uh, but that way, it's easier to make it look good. Because right now, like, with building, you know, you could set your standards super high and have like no exposed cracks and caulk everything. And, paint everything, you're setting the standard too high, you're trying to build like a machine. And a lot of people are good enough to do that, but I'm not, okay? And I prefer the rustic look anyway. So um, we're gonna, instead of trying to make this perfect, we're gonna make it controlled chaos and it's gonna be great. So we're gonna do that in here and also in the washroom. I'll take you guys in there real quick. We're gonna stucco it. I keep saying stucco, I don't know what the official name is for this, but uh, stucco design controlled chaos in here on the sheetrock as well. And then once that's done, we will be able to paint. So before we paint, obviously the stucco has to dry. And I know stucco is not the right word, but the stucco has to dry and then we can paint it. So in the meantime, since my mom and my wife are gonna be doing the messy part because they enjoy it, I don't enjoy it. So I'm glad they're, doing it, they're gonna do it. Um, I am instead going to be doing trim because that needs to be done before the kitchen cabinets are installed. So I'm going to be doing trim up there and up there and probably not here because the cabinets are going to be all the way up to that crack. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure how we're going to handle that exactly. I'll probably let him install his cabinets and then I'll probably put trim on the top of the cabinets after they're installed. But I just want to do as much trim and work as I can before the cabinets are installed. And I have to have the trim installed before we paint in the bathroom. So this has to be trimmed up. And this gap here is too big. So I get to go buy myself a table saw. Yeah, I get to go get a table saw, cut some of this wood, you know, the siding put it up there, seal up that gap a little bit better, and then do some trim work. And I'm not sure what type of trim I'm thinking one by two on the wall up to the top, which means since this isn't a 90 degree um, 
ceiling, I'm gonna need to use the table saw again and cut the angle, nail it up there. Uh, we'll probably go with one by two along the entire ceiling, all the way across, just like so. And then in the verticals, we're gonna do a concave corner trim there. And then on both of those right there, that vertical and then that vertical. And then around the tub as well. So the, 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 the top of the tub has this pretty intense gap. My whole finger fits in that gap. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, not good, right? Not good at all. So I'll put a, another like one by two trim right there around the entire thing, corner to corner, and then down. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do that vertical piece because it's gonna meet up with the floor trim, the baseboards, but you don't do that until after the flooring is installed. So I'm just trying to do as much as I can, and then I'll just touch up paint those extra pieces I have to do later, just like the baseboards. Um, painting the base, I might actually paint the baseboards before they're installed, that might actually be easier. So yeah, that's the plan. I get to, and I've already done this, measure and go purchase some trim and the table saw, which I'm super excited about. I've got permission from the CEO just kidding. We, we, we make decisions together. Uh, we, we have decided, yeah, table saw would be awesome. And uh, so my wife and I, have, have we've got the go ahead. And I don't even know what, they're, what they cost. I'm sure they're expensive, but it'll be worth it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, do the trim, get the stucco done, call the cabinet guy. I mean, I can see calling the cabinet guy early next week. So I'm, I'm encouraged, guys. This is a cheaper, easier way to go about it. And I think the results, honestly, will be better than the original plan. So, a win-win-win. Uh, yep, if you have any questions or comments, post them down below. Thank you, all of you who gave your input in the comments of the previous video. And, obviously, your input is welcome in this video, too. Thanks for watching, and God bless.